Hello everybody, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I am back again with another bullet journal and this month's theme is a theme of graduation. It is May or it's going to be May, which is a month of a lot of people's graduation. Also I know June, some people graduate in June, but since Okay, so I'm kind of in a weird situation because I'm graduating, but I'm not graduating. I'm done with my undergrad this year, so I kind of count that as a graduation. Um, so yeah, basically, fun fact, commencement is on my birthday this year. So there's that. Anyways, I hope this spread is kind of a nice fit for all of you guys who are congr who are congratulating. Sorry, for all of you guys who are graduating and I just wanna congratulate you all on your hard work to getting to this point. And let's just go ahead and get started with this month's theme. To start off with this theme, I am drawing a humongous graduation cap and I'm kind of shading that in with the highlighter and I did a little charm of 21 because it's 2021 obviously. If you're watching this in a later year, make it your graduation year pretty self-explanatory. I just wrote May on the top of the cap as a kind of, you know how people decorate their caps to sort of resemble that. I also drew a pill with 2024 to represent pharmacy and the year that I will graduate farm school. Moving on to my quote page, I drew another graduation cap for the bottom corner and my quote for this month is, it always seems impossible until it is done. And I feel like that rings really true because when you're in the moment, like everything seems really hard and like it's never going to end. But when you look back on it, like when I look back on these past two years, I realize that like time has flown pretty fast considering. Yes, it was hard, but I did it and so did you. And I think that's something we should celebrate. Moving on to my mood tracker, I decided to have 31 graduation caps to color in depending on my mood. And I made them from the colors of blacks to grays and whites and oranges because orange is my school color. Moving on to my habit tracker, I just copied and pasted mine from last month. I reoriented the calendars to fit the format of this month and just copied and pasted some graduation caps on the bottom, very simple. Moving on to my sleep tracker, same idea. I just copied and pasted, added another row at the bottom because there's 31 days in May and I did the same thing with the graduation caps. Moving on to my weekly spread, I drew kind of like an outlined messy graduation cap and that's going to be my markers and I decided to put the numbers of the days next door to it in orange because putting it on top just seemed a little too messy and honestly you couldn't really like see the date or tell that it was a graduation cap. And just by the number eight, I also did little confetti because that is my birthday so a little extra fun there. And that concludes this month's spread. Let's go ahead and go through the flip through. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below because I post videos every single Sunday and I hope to see you back again next week. Bye.